It's a Wednesday morning here on AM Show. My name is Benedict Tosu. We've got to talk some sports today. We've got a big game coming up here at the Babaya Stadium. Kumasi Asante got up against lower division side Nia Salamina. Uh, it's a semi uh, quarter final game of the MTN FA Cup. Already we know that three teams have booked qualification to the semi finals, and we are waiting to see uh, the team that will join those three teams as a crowd hard to fold. Media Mercy. And wow, stars and Kumasia Sante uh, this afternoon will take on Nia Salamina at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. Uh, I promise that in our subsequent sports bulletins, we'll do more on that. We'll try and uh, establish contact with my colleagues in Kumasi Delali at Asukopia. Sorry, so we we'll speak more about that game. The kickoff will be at exactly 3 p.m. So if you're in Kumasi this uh, afternoon, uh, you have to make your way to the Baba Yara Stadium and see that game uh, involving Kumasia Sante Kotoko and Nia Salamina and MTN FA Cup quarter final game but yesterday here in Accra at the University of Ghana campus a basketball clinic was held in Midwest he is a member of the Golden State Warriors team he was brought here in Ghana by a, you know in a program that all Africa access well it was Zoetic Energy as well as the African Union that put this together the Midwest uh, we spoke to him and he was very very impressed with the turnout of the event been great you know we've had a great turnout uh, a lot of kids that uh you know just walked in we we're able to give them part of the program get them fed uh, we had a lot of good exercise and uh hopefully they picked up some details and some drills that they can uh take with them when they go home every time we come the program's getting bigger and bigger uh we continue to expand and uh, find more kids to you know help uh, reach them through the game of basketball it's not just basketball that we're intending to reach the kids uh, uh, and that's their end goal we wanted to use basketball to help educate uh, to help inform and help them uh, feel like uh, they have a chance at tomorrow so that was David West there he is a member of the Golden State Warriors team and yesterday they held a clinic at the University of Ghana campus well the organizers of the event is Zoetic Energy uh, the CEO, John Ringo, uh, noted that uh, Ghana, the hope, uh, you know, Ghana's hope for the future in the sports is very, very bright. But, uh, I'm really impressed by the talent. Uh, There's a wonderful group of kids. Uh, Ghana is blessed with tremendous natural resources, that being its young people, as its finest natural resource. And I think it, it, it gives bright hope and uh, uh, hope for the future that young people who are not just great th athletes but great thinkers uh, have come here today to uh, display their talents but also to display a real hunger for knowledge. So it's very impressive. You know when uh, we get programs of this nature there's always a nine day wonder. Are, are we going to ensure that uh, annually we're going to have something like this here to unearth more talent? Yes, this is a sustainable program. Uh, we're going to continue this throughout the continent of Africa, but we'll always start with Ghana. Uh, I've, I've, this is my 42nd trip to Ghana in the last three years, and I have a hunger to come back because of uh, the fact that uh, Ghana, the culture of uh, Ghana, the people of Ghana are welcome us. They treat us very well, and we just look forward to the opportunity to come back and do this again. So we still stay with the basketball event and obviously was organized for the kids. Well, the kids we spoke to, uh, they shared their experience and they were excited uh, to have seen the likes of David West and TJ Warren. I mean, it's been really amazing. Like, I've never seen so many basketball enthusiasts come together in one place to showcase their skills and talents. I, I can't even describe to you how awesome it is to see the NBA players. I mean, it's, it's a great, it's great. So what have you learned? Um, we've done a couple of drills. We started off with drills. It started around 9 a.m. And we did run-ups up and down the courts. And then we started on a one-on-one -on -one session, did it against ourselves. And we had a break in the middle. And then we just came back to ball, just came back to do what we do, you know, best. If you look at it, it's not, it's not every day that you um, get to see, right, successful players come to your hometown, come to your place to come and, you know, train you to be better. And we even have um, Mensah Bonsu, right, he was a Ghanaian player, right, in the NBA right now. That's, like, serious motivation for us. So I definitely encourage that more, more of this, more of this, these clinics and stuff like that, yeah. I've learned a lot of offense drills and defensive drills, and I love it. We played some one with four on four and it was it was sick. You know, I played four on four, I played half court, but it wasn't easy like this. Today was different and I was very tired, my legs were weak, but I still gotta push it. And I love to see the NBA players. They are so amazing, they are so friendly. And I love West. I love everybody, man. The camp was good. So what have you learned today? 
Um, I fled the defense, how to D, go down low and D and wait for your man. And I fled, I fled a lot like the screen, you got to know how to screen the ball, offensive screen, and you got to know how to screen away from the ball. I fled it and I'm, I mean, I'm going to practice more. I've seen some improvement today. I say it's such an honor to be here. And uh, me seeing the big guys all the way from out there down here, it's uh, an opportunity for me to meet them. What are some of the things that you picked up from here today? Um, they taught us a lot of things, but I learned about leadership. I, uh, I should not wait for uh, uh, someone to tell me what to do. I have to figure what I have to do to improve and get better myself. So away from the local scene, let's talk the UEFA Champions League playoff games that were played yesterday. And Liverpool, uh, the top liner was uh, the game involving Liverpool and Hoffenheim in Germany. Liverpool won that game by two goals to one. So Liverpool will take that 2-1 advantage uh, to Anfield uh, for the second leg which will be played next week. Now, Sporting City also were in action uh, with still, uh, Bucharest, uh, that's the former team of uh, Ghana's, uh, you know, new Sule, younger brother of Sule Ali Muntai. That game ended goalless. Goalers in that game. Also, there was a Ghanaian involved in a game involving young boys and CSK. Just unfortunately, he scored an own goal. Uh, Kasim Adams, uh, as uh, his side, young boys, they lost by a goal to nil at home. So, we'll get you the full uh, first chest will be on your screen. Also, uh, we've got as many as five matches later tonight uh, in the UEFA Champions League. So, if you are ready with the first chest, we can roll it. So, there you go. Uh, matches that were played as well as uh, the first chest. So, the Liverpool uh, game, Hoffenheim, you can. Uh, see the result as well as Sporting CP drawing goalers with Bucharest. So today, the matches that are going to be played, uh, we have uh, Celtic, Astana, also uh, Astana, there's a Ghanaian international there, Patrick Chumesi, Olympiakos, uh, Rijeka is also playing uh, later tonight. And we have Napoli, Nice, big game, and Bache, Hexe, uh, Sevilla, Bache, Sehe, uh, against Sevilla. It's also happening tonight. So yesterday, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo was handed a five-match ban, if you remember, uh, in the game against uh, Barcelona, the first leg of the uh, Spanish Supercopa, which they won by a few goals to one, who was shown a second bookable offense. Uh, the first uh, was uh, after his goal when he took off his jersey. He was given a yellow card, and then uh, he was, uh, you know, given another yellow card for diving. Well, he pushed the referee for getting two yellow cards in a game. He was suspended for a game and also pushing the referee was suspended for four matches. Well, his manager Zinedine, uh, Zinedine Zidane is upset that Cristiano Ronaldo is going to meet the second leg, which is happening later tonight. So the first leg, which was played at the Camp Nou, ended 3-1 in favor of Real Madrid. Tonight is the second leg at the Santiago Bernabeu. So Barca must have attended deficit if they want to win the Spanish Supercopa. So the Spanish Supercopa is played uh, between winners of the uh, Spanish La Liga and also the Copa de Last season was Real Madrid that won the Spanish La Liga in Barcelona. Uh, defeated Alaves to win the uh, Spanish Copa de Rey, which is also known as the King's Cup. Well, yesterday was exactly 25 years uh, since the uh, inception of the English Premier League. Now, th that's the English Premier League. Premier League. Yesterday was exactly 25 years. So we checked how the uh, Premier League has evolved uh, over the last uh, 25 years. So it's been 25 years since uh, the inception of the English Premier League. So this is when Liverpool were winning the titles was English League. And since we started English Premier League, We've never won any title. But Chelsea, Manchester United, even Blackburn, I think, yes, they've won the title. They won it somewhere in 1995 or so. Uh, that, that's our 1996. Thanks so much, uh, Will and Walker. So that's how we end sports this morning here on the M Show. You can get to read more sports news on my Joy online sports page. And on Twitter, you get us at Joy Sports page on Facebook. It's at Joy Sports. Have a wonderful day.